What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads, I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk to you about the March Community Day makeup that was supposed to happen last month, obviously during March, but was postponed because of COVID-19, and we are now having it rescheduled. It will be live for a 24-hour window, so it will be another 24-hour Community Day in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. It'll be starting your local time, 12.01 a.m., running to 11.59 p.m., on May 2nd. Now, I'm gonna do an overview. I wanna talk about the quest steps. I wanna talk about a brand new port key location and of course the bundles. So make sure you stick around, enjoy this complete guide to Community Day Makeup coming again May 2nd. So with this Community Day Makeup event, we will have a special assignment which will re you know include rewards like things we'd expect to see, spell books, potion ingredients, and gold. There will be increased sightings of foundables from the Room of Requirement 5 page, which you can see right here, including Fred and George Weasley. For the potions, you'll get two extra spell casts for all type of extemulo potions. And if you're like me, you are very low after this last month's Community Day. So brew, brew, brew as much as you possibly can. I know Bitterroot and Snowdrop seem to be a scarcity, so stock up on those as much as you possibly can because you'll get two extra spell casts for each of the extemulo potions, which means the basic extemulo increases from three to five, strong extemulo increases from four to six, and potent extemulo increases from five to seven. There will be a 50% reduce brew time for all extemulos, and then they, on top of that, increase the effectiveness of master notes for all extemulos from 15%, which is the usual number for master notes, to 50%, which is incredible. So they're cutting it in half, and then they're cutting it in half again. So it's a fourth of the usual time. That means that with reduced times uh, for master notes and brew times, that you can get a normal extemulo in 15 minutes, a strong extemulo in 30 minutes, and a potent extemulo potion in one hour especially because this is going to be such a big community day and such a huge window for community day there will be tons of potions that you can brew uh, throughout the event so hopefully we will be able to get all of the ingredients that we need off of the map in order to make that happen now there will be a decreased flea rate for all foundables from the room of requirement five page which again i already showed you but i'll put it there again as well that includes fred and george weasley angelina johnson and parvati patil so definitely look for those foundables and look forward to returning those foundables because you'll be able to prestige this event a few times or prestige this page rather hopefully throughout this event a few times a lot like we did with the central park page last month for april now we also have a special community day one kilometer portmanteau with a guaranteed drop of the dumbledore's army sign up sheet so that's a fantastic fantastic uh, little location there. The location is actually going to be amazing. I can't wait to explore this one. It is the Astronomy Tower. So if you remember the scene from Half-Blood Prince, that's where um, some spoilers happen. Please. So basically, I want to explore the port key with you and I'm looking forward to that. The guaranteed fragments of Dumbledore's army signup sheet is going to be huge because it is the designated fortress foundable fragment for the room of requirement five page which is going to make it the trickiest to get so because of the quest steps you'll pretty much be guaranteed a prestige on top of any of this port key action that you get done as well so i'm going to talk about the quest steps now so you can know exactly how to plan for this and what to look for this community day so for the first task you'll have to use tonic for trace detection one time for two unicorn hair uh, and use four potions or four extemulo potions of any kind you can use the basic strong or potent any kind of extemulo for one Dumbledore's army signup sheet. Return 15 Angelina Johnson foundables for one Dumbledore's army signup sheet. Return 10 Parvati Patils for one signup sheet. Return five Fred Weasley foundables for one uh, fragment of the signup sheet. And then return five George Weasley foundables for one signup sheet. And of course, as per usual, with this type of quest step and this type of community day, you can go through these steps at any pace. Uh, in any order, they're not like ordered one to six or anything like that. You can just complete whichever one whenever and you'll be good. So because of the nature of this community day, it will be a stay at home type event again, just like we had with the Central Park page for Magizoology. 
and all of that good stuff. So I'm not I'm not super concerned about getting this quest step done. Once you get the steps done, you'll get three red spell books, 40 gold pieces, and 200 wizarding XP. Um, so that'll be you know nice little icing on the cake to get some red books there as well. Now I do want to talk about the bundles, but before I talk about the bundles, I want to give the same advice that I gave last month, and that means that when you're looking at your pages and when you are looking to prestige these types of pages, you have to be very smart. Now, what do I mean by being very smart? I mean that you don't need to collect the quest steps for a signup sheet if you already have that image placed. If you, for some reason, have done your due diligence here and you've really prepared and you've worked hard on getting these fortress foundables, then that is going to be great for you because you're gonna be able to prestige faster and potentially get to a higher frame or higher pages. So what I mean by that is if you are full up on fragments, if you have five out of five our, uh, Dumbledore's Army sign-up sheet fragments, do not collect the quest step rewards, don't open any port keys, don't do anything until you've prestiged. And I know that um, Andalov will probably have a guide to this community day. He did a similar one for last community day and it was fantastic. So if he does one, um, I'll put that link in the description down below and you can follow his strategy. It'll probably be fairly similar to last month's, but it, again, will be a very, very useful tool. I cannot tell you enough how helpful those guides are. So again, I'll link those down below. Now for the bundles, I'm gonna go over the bundles. We'll talk about the free pack and the community day pack and their contents. So this is the complimentary gift and inside the complimentary gift, you have one Abraxan here, six Snowdrop, four Bitterroot, two Rainblood and 25 Spell Energy. And uh, for that, you'll just collect your complimentary supplies from the ministry and have your uh, strong Extemulo potion ingredients. You can get one of those and of course, like I said, it is free. For the second or the community day bundle, it will cost 420 gold. You can buy up to five of these. It will contain three potent simulo potion, two silver keys, and 100 spell energy. And again, that is the community day bundle. I think that that's decent. Um, the, the keys are worth far more in my opinion than the potions are because we have time to brew now. But during the event, obviously those brew times will be decreased and probably therefore a lot easier to get those potent extemula potions. Um, now again, I, I am excited for this event. I love Newport Key locations. I love exploring them. Hopefully I'll be able to do another video like I did for last month. And if you missed out on that, you can click on the card above and check out the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes port key with me. Um, I love the idea of the astronomy tower. It's really freaking cool. It's just a really awesome location. Although I am a little uh upset that they didn't do a burrow location maybe that's in the works maybe that's for a future event that we don't know about or something but um it would have been a good month for it but that's okay we are excited and ready to go into the astronomy tower i know i am personally so let me know down below if you guys have any questions about this event if you're looking forward to this one this is a page that i haven't really been able to prestige yet but i'm close i only need like one uh, more george fragment i think three or four or five maybe of fred i haven't seen a lot of fred but I'm very excited for this because of the potential for prestige and being able to prepare and give ourselves plenty of time uh, to knock out some of these fortress fragments is going to be huge. So I'm definitely looking forward to this event. Again, let me know down below what you guys think and let me know if you enjoyed this video. If it's your first time here and you've never seen the channel before, welcome. It's great to have you. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like down below as well as hitting that red subscribe button and turning on those bell notifications so you know when I produce another piece of Wizards Unite content. Guys, that's all I have for you today. So I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, Peace.